Now, we help out eccentric lady, Moira Brown. Sure. I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. My god, everyone here's a perv. This outside place is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. If you actually got that joke, good for you. And... <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. Heck yeah, I'll need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. What kind of research? You pervert. Yeah, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Um, sure, why the heck not? Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day danger. Day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? You're most likely going to want to do getting food! Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Sure, why not? Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Okay. Oh, I want to see what, what we have for mean? sale, too. Well, first off, I'd like to sell... Uh, this a pistol, and that a pistol, and the gun, and all this here ammo, and, uh, some jets, some medax, some pre-war money, some, no, psycho's useful. This outfit, this jumpsuit, that jumpsuit, and, uh, That'll be all. Good day. Good hunting. Good luck with that research. Goodbye, crazy lady. Congratulations. We now have frags. 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 That's enough saying frags. No matter how awesome saying frags is. Do do do. Do 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 do. Gonna frag some noobs. Thirsty partner, try Moriarty's. All this drinks. Feel the fragging. Oops! Accidentally shot Crazy Wolfgang. Hey, Crazy Wolfgang. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's Traveling Junk Store, the depot of detritus, the shop of slop, and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible Wolfgangs, offer to you? Are you on drugs? Nothing but the highest quality left uh, let's junk see. and crap. Well, there's schematics for a rocket launcher. Um, that's essentially an item that, well, the rocket launcher is interesting. It's mostly Watch just a uh, fun item, you know. Ah, better switch over to Wasteland Survival Guide. There. Anyway, so the rocket launcher, if you do choose to partake of it, the rocket launcher schematics can be found in three places. Possible spoiler alert here. Skip ahead to whatever time I designate if you would like to not hear them. The first location is 
in that framed quote that I said had epic loot in it. The second location is at Moira Brown's shop. And the third location was right there. Note to self. Don't you try to use frags. I'm not good with them. Feel the clubbins. Those were vicious dogs. Personally, I really hate it when games have dogs in them. Unless we're talking Nintendogs. You know, like that kind of game. Because I don't like killing dogs. It's just something I don't like doing. Which is why I haven't played Call of Duty that much. Or at least not the campaign. Uh, sometimes not online. I don't know. This be the mart in which she had pre-specified. Am I being shot at? No, that can't be. That's just plain unlikely. Okay, to skip time, going around that fence, I shall do something. Using the magic of the console to move through objects. I'll only do that when it would take up extra time. You know. Um. Going through stuff. Oh, hey. Yes? You know, I, I won't, like, purposely take advantage of it. To go through objects. Only for backtracking or making th things easier. So, let's see. Uh, Raider Blastmaster armor, why not? Oh, wait, no. Armored Vault 101 suit. That way we can look awesome in STYLE! This is a hunting rifle. Hunting rifles are really freaking awesome. They have very little spread. Ammo is decent to come by. And they're just good. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Oh my god, the rumor is right! Behold! Oh, that's just great. Club out time! Time to play Club Out 3. Club Out 3 is, judging from the name, is either a game about going clubbing, or quite literally going, going clubbing. Depending on your definition of clubbing. Okay, so, these, uh... First off, cash registers, very nice source of loot. These uh, cash register things, they bleed. I have no idea why. They just do. They're emo cash registers. Emo registers. So, unlike in previous Fallout games, energy weapons random topic here. Energy weapons, such as this laser pistol, which I shall be confiscating. Ah, darn it. Laser... I know, shut up, I know about repairings and, and killings and murders and... Hey, shut up! <laughs> laser weapons are much weaker in this game. However, they are much easier to find. Ah, uh, pain spike, waste helm, combat knife. Ah, uh, let us see. Repair that with this. Um. Oh, get rid of that helmet. That's no use to us. Congratulations, this Raider Blastmaster armor is now better. Now, to fulfill the required objective for Moira's task, simply open this food storage. See? The task! 
has been fulfilled. Now, if you need cans, this area is great. There are cans everywhere. The schematics for Nuka-Cola grenades requires cans. Not bent cans. Just cans. Ow, I'm being shot! You, stop shooting me! Ah, dang it, I missed. Uh-huh. Ah, getting close to the time limit. See you next time, everybody. I'm Slayer49. Good night.